Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. I'm on the snowball, or I was a, I am a snowball, and I'm on the Switch, and I'm just budgeting away, causing an earthquake everywhere I go, and now I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, that's right, I said it, I'm going to kill myself, just like Tim McGraw, because it's too far to get back to the Wumba's hut. Besides, this way you get to see the animation for the dead snowball. <laughs> and the backpack is just left there by itself. Oh man, that's just too much to bear, man. No pun intended. So you can go back to inside. Yay. And you have to be like really small to get in there, which is why the fire is next to the teepee. It looks like just a decoration, but you can melt yourself on that to get small enough to get back inside if you need to. So you don't have to go, oh man, there's police cars outside. What's going on? Who's done what now? Boy, I tell you. Get some more toilet paper. Okay, so we're leaving now. We really need to take care of that stupid boss, so we'll stop throwing ice at us. But first things first, let's go ahead and now that the... You know, now that the aliens are brought back to life, let's go back and free this one over here. Arrgh! Damn it! I don't think I'm ever going to get across this without taking some kind of damage, am I? Anyway, now we can build drill this and free the alien now that he's inside. It's one of the three alien kids. Just, oh my god. That, that was about the most annoying thing I think I've ever done. Yes. Yeah, we have got to take care of that guy. We're the... Yeah. So one of the kids is free, as we can see here. And I believe... Yeah. Shit, what the hell? Dude! <laughs> okay. Apparently we had a slight weapons malfunction there. But we're all fine now. Yeah, everything's fine. How are you? Some notes here. Might as well get these. Might as when. Might as well, might as when. I like changing my L's and N's around. I know most people make jokes about changing L and R around, but I like changing L and N because it's like in... I think that started back in the old days when I first started watching VH1 and If You Go by John Cicada was really popular. And in the video, when he says, when he lip syncs the, the line, there'd be something missing in my life, it looks like he's saying, there'd be something missing in my knife. Which, I don't know why, it's just one of those things I noticed. We always thought that was funny though. This is that Jinjo I was talking about. You can't get to him because you get blown away. But we can just cockwork him. Well, that sounded wrong. There you go. Just like cockwork. I tell ya. So now we're gonna head over this way. And, uh, because you might have seen the footsteps going up the wall, that's how we have to get to the boss. Problem is, there's no shoes nearby except for behind this Bigfoot who's standing here. So, well, the secret is, it's just like the building on the fire side. You just have to wait there. <laughs> That's nice. What? Uh, yeah. I'm not having him. Well, what are you ever gonna do with him? You're standing there like a dumbass. Anyway, here it comes. Ooh! And in big Goron eye drop fashion, we get some epic shots of Hailfire Peaks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it, I got it. You're gonna love this one. Listen to this. He just got mistletoed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. That was really bad. If you're watching this video at any point in the year 2010 or later, just look at the date that this video was posted and you can see what a well-timed joke that was. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so, so up the wall. Up the wall we go. We're gonna make this happen. Jeez, how is he not hitting me? Ugh! Jeez! Okay, so... So here we are, taking on our second boss fight of Hailfire Peaks. Pretty much just like the first, except he's gonna be twice as hard. Whichever one you fight last will always be the harder one, so... So if you wanted to fight this guy first, he would have been the weaker one. You must be the pizza delivery boy that beat up my poor brother. He tried to eat us. I suppose you'll be wanting pizza too. Yes, please, I ordered an anchovy deluxe. Yeah, you would. <laughs> what is it with these guys and pizza? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, I had to cut. Because, uh, I died. Alright, so we're 
hiding behind the cannon now. Yeah, there we go. Now you watch this guy a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. And take some precision jumping here. Thought he was too fast to combo me, I guess. Oh, dang it. So let's get those eggs out. See, I'm hitting him three times now for cannon. That's what I was trying to do before with the other guy. Just couldn't make it work, man. I don't know how I'm not walking off the edge here. The joystick is like has to be exactly to the side. But you don't have as much... But you can't see as well if you're making a mistake the way you can when you're walking you know, against the screen away from yourself. Oh, crap. Ugh. Nice. I guess I should try jumping to avoid those, huh? Instead of just letting them hit me. Oh, well, we got him. No problem at Stop it! I don't want pizza anymore. <laughs> that sounded like a meal just now. Not a meal Chucky Conroy. I mean, a meal in uh, Tales of Symphonia. The Wii version. Like, one of the first times you get into a fight, he's all like, Stop it! Or something. It's just really... Oh my god. Anyway, so he's flying off with his little ass body. He looks like a Pokemon. Not that I know what a Pokemon looks like. Of course, just about anything looks like a Pokemon nowadays. There are so many of them. Anyway, let's get our Jiggy and get out of here. Or else are you a flea? Ooh! God, these stupid long shifts. They're not really long shifts, they're longer shifts, but at least I'm getting more hours now, which is good. Because I'm starting to worry. So let's jump off. Junk ball! Oh, there's the alien kid over there. I want to go save him, but I can't. But at least I'm fallproof, so it doesn't matter. So, uh, split pads here. So the warp is across from here, right? Stop pausing. I don't know why I keep doing that. So, to ooh, the fireside area, to the dragon side, whatever you want to call it. And we will split here. So, um, yeah. Just gonna get up here and do some stuff with Banjo. Oh my god! Uh, well, never mind now. Never mind now. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Yeah, this uh, move that we learned in this world, I haven't had a chance to really use it yet, so, uh... Basically, you hold Z and press C up, I think it is. And you get inside your backpack, you can walk around inside of it. There's a fish here, we'll pick that up for later. And scare a or save a Jinjo! Yeah, we should be completing these Jinjo families pretty soon here. As soon as I go back and pick some of the other ones up. I'm just gonna do my thing there to let myself out. Now, to actually get up this slope here is a little tricky. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do it as Banjo, but I'm going to get up there. So, uh... Basically, what you have to do is push A and then press B before you make the next jump. So it's A, B, A, B, A, B, A. I guess we're going to have to, uh... Well, that's not working. Have to do a double jump. Yep. Please don't kill me. Oh, man. Oh! God, how the hell did I make that? That is not even funny. I did not just make that. Ugh. Okay, we got the honeycomb. Let's just go ahead and jump in. Once again, lives are not an issue. I mean, whatever. So, oh, I guess we have to head up the slope again. Damn it. There we go. No problem there. Mm, shoot, what else? Okay, we got the aliens left to do. We got, um... The ice train jiggy. And of course we got this one to pick up. Might as well get this while we're here. Man, it's a good thing I got that fall proof, isn't it? I can use your shack pack to get into small areas like this that you would normally have to use clockwork eggs to get them, but I guess, you know, with shack pack you can do it much easier, so. Yay on that. 62. 62! You know, speaking of which, as long as I'm here, I guess I might as well. Dude, how do I get out of here? What the hell? It's too dark, I can't see, man, I can't see! 
I don't know if I should talk about that right now because I'm running out of time here, but um, as far as Christmas goes, like whether or not I'm going to post on Christmas, I don't think I am, actually, because I got a lot of stuff going on, family stuff. I might not even post Christmas Eve. What I might do is just post Wind Waker on Christmas Eve, but I'm not totally sure yet. I just don't want to, like, put too many videos out there and, you know, burden you guys with that because... Uh, I mean, if I'm going to cater to one or the other, I'd rather cater to the ones who, you know, who have a life besides my videos. No offense against anyone who doesn't. I mean, I don't mind that at all. But, okay. Back to Kazooie.